Dear students, today we will further discuss about software verification and I will show you that if the software is not properly verified during the development process, then what kind of effect or defects it can have afterwards. So in fact, in the last module we were discussing that the software verification is the distinction between program believed to be correct and the program that is actually correct. So now we will discuss about different examples where the software has failed and it has created significant impact on the humans and their lives. So for example, this is one of the machine and this machine is known as radiation machine and such a radiations are normally used for cancer patients. And there was a patient who comes for the radiations and the software which was controlling this machine has given extra amount of radiations to that user and due to that, that user passed away. So if we go into the details, this was Theric 25 X-ray radiation machine and in 1986, a man in Texas received 16,500 to 25,000 radiations in less than 10 seconds. So this was not required and this was the extreme and this need to be avoided and this need to be checked during the software verification process that machine should not give such amount of huge radiations in such a short span of time. And it was covered on over an area of about one centimeter. And the user passed away five months later and the root cause was this radiation. Then there is, there is another example of NHS IT failure. So in 2018, recently, doctors and staff were unable to access patients' files in a online patient management system in an hospital, NHS. And this was a technical issue of software, not the security issue. So the software was not properly verified and doctor need the patient's files, its, for example, laboratory test reports, etc. So for certain time, they were not able to get access to the software. And you know that today, in today's world, all of our data is being digitized and we do not normally keep the copies in the hard form. So if your software crashes and such a critical health sensitive software crashes, this means there is a danger for, on, for the life and death for that particular patients who are at the moment under uh, that particular hospital that they are being cured. And then there is another third example of TSB bank customers. In April 2018, millions of customers of this bank experienced many issues due to moving to the new banking platform. So this bank was using a software and they changed that software and they moved to, to a new software that was not properly tested and verified. So this means that they had number of issues which were identified after the software was given to the user. And it was found that users were unable to log in. Some of the customers were able to log in, but they were not able to see the account details of their own. So they were seeing the account details of some other customers belonging to the same bank. And they were seeing inaccurate credits and debits of their account. So this means they were, they, the security was breached, uh, the information which is sensitive that what I have in my bank account and what you have in your bank account, that should not be exchanged between the users. However, this system, as it was not properly verified, has given the access to the wrong persons of the individuals. And then, of course, those people 
could make number of transactions on such a system. And the software industry is full of such many, many examples, such many, many horrifying stories that how the unverified softwares have led to many, many issues in the history. So if we conclude today's module, we have learned that software need to be verified properly. And if unverified softwares are used, that then what happened with the people? And we have learned uh, from different examples that the software verification is very important to avoid great loss in the future.